Railways are arteries of civilization, and a new generation of ambitious projects is emerging that will redefine how we travel and connect cultures. From bridges spanning incredible distances to tunnels bored deep beneath bustling cities, these ventures push engineering boundaries with cutting-edge technology and design. They bring the promise of progress, but face immense challenges balancing economic goals and social impacts. Winding through jungles, ruins, and resorts, Mexico's $10 billion Mayan train project envisions transforming travel on the Yucatan Peninsula to bolster tourism profits and empower local economies. The 1,500 kilometers network will link cultural heritage sites, white sand beaches, eco parks, and hotels with faster transit options for both tourists and residents. However, as earth movers carve paths through the wilderness, Tren Maya has collided with fierce public opposition. Environmentalists argue it threatens delicate ecosystems and endangered wildlife like the jaguar by enabling habitat fragmentation. Indigenous communities also protest, stating construction disregards cultural sites and livelihoods without proper consent. Much coverage focuses on tensions between development and preservation, but officials maintain Tren Maya aims to responsibly elevate living standards for marginalized groups. The tensions encapsulate challenges with deploying massive infrastructure projects to drive growth in sensitive environments and historically excluded regions. Reconciling modern aspirations of progress with responsibility to people and nature proves complex. Though designer train sets display Mayan architectural elements and construction pauses temporarily to survey newly unearthed artifacts, critics argue irreparable damage remains inevitable without more changes. Protests rage while legal injunctions sporadically grind rails to a halt. Mexico now weighs calls to reroute the system completely against counterpoints, arguing cancellations could disenfranchise communities banking on the economic lifeline. With Phase 1 tracks being laid through ancient ruins towards tropical beaches, Tren Maya's ability to boost regional prosperity without steamrolling opposition remains divisively debated. As Australia's third largest and fastest growing metropolis, Brisbane faces immense pressure to meet booming transportation demand across interconnected precincts. Already congested road and rail links largely funnel through one bridge traversing the meandering Brisbane River, slicing the heart of the city. Seeking to transform connectivity while enabling riverside revitalization, Brisbane's $6.3 billion Cross River Rail project promises immense economic stimulus and convenience gains. The visionary 10.2 kilometers metro line with 5.9 kilometers of innovative twin tunnels under downtown and the river intends to unshackle the urban core. The project plans to quadruple core capacity from 24 to 48 trains during peak periods while catalyzing 35,000 jobs and $2 billion in additional growth. It also readies Brisbane's infrastructure for hosting duties when the Olympics arrive in 2032. But realizing the immense promise requires first navigating substantial below-surface complexity. Cross River Rail's engineering feats encompass building Australia's deepest excavation pit near skyscraper foundations to enable station construction far underground. It also involves a custom-segmented bridge technique to construct mezzanine pedestrian access levels inside the huge new rail caverns. By integrating an advanced virtual design model to navigate challenges, crews bring Brisbane's most ambitious metro endeavor to fruition despite imposing constraints. Local officials hope Cross River Rail's visionary design will transform not only connectivity across the waterfront, but also enhance liveability and sustainability for generations. Yet with price tags projected to double initial estimates, questions hover around costs versus lasting benefits. Proponents maintain the project's lasting economic influence merits investment today to empower Brisbane's future. China is now home to the world's largest high-speed rail network, accounting for two-thirds of global track mileage. In just over a decade since its inaugural bullet train line, the country has constructed an unparalleled 37,900-kilometer system. It has slashed urban travel times, catalyzed economic growth, and set new rail speed records. Looking ahead, China plans to double the size of its high-speed network in 15 years, under a national strategy to further link provinces and cities. 
with advantages like high population density, state-owned rail corporations, and standardized technology, China has built HSR at costs up to two-thirds lower than other nations. The expansion supports wider national development goals like urbanization and geographic cohesion. However, maintaining the astonishing construction pace remains challenging. Only time will tell if China's rail network growth can stay on track. After pioneering high-speed rail with bullet trains that sparked its post-war economic miracle, Japan now develops cutting-edge magnetic levitation, maglev technology to transform mobility. Maglev trains employ superconducting magnets for propulsion and suspension, allowing them to levitate centimeters above guideways, no wheels touching the track. Without friction, Central Japan Railway Company aims to operate world-leading top speeds of 505 kilometers per hour between Tokyo and Osaka by 2037. This could slash travel times on the planned 285 kilometers route to just 67 minutes, less than half of current bullet services. It's a daring billion dollar technological moonshot. Yet as ambitious as the vision sounds, the Maglev project grapples with harsh realities threatening its lofty goals. With tunnels traversing over 90% of the route through mountainous terrain, construction challenges trigger substantial delays and staggering escalated costs now ballooning over six times initial estimates. This fuels public criticism, questioning whether Maglev now promises adequate benefits to justify the enormous expense burdening taxpayers. Additionally, each specialized train carries fewer passengers than traditional bullet services, while magnetic propulsion consumes more electricity. With limited export potential as China makes its own advances, skepticism mounts whether Japan's floating train gamble can deliver a new era of transportation transportation progress matching its legendary bullet heritage. Nonetheless, if maglev trains manage to overcome obstacles and mute public sentiment, they could greatly extend megacity regions in Japan upon debut. High Speed 2 embodies the perilous battle between transformative vision and complex reality colliding in mega projects. Proposed to connect London to the north of England through a new high capacity spine able to handle 225 miles per hour trains, the initiative held promise to reshape national geography and prosperity. But HS2's immense financial demands and disruption have overridden hopes, turning much public opinion against what many now deem the greatest white elephant in history. Initially costed at 32 billion pounds in 2012, Phase 1 estimates skyrocketed to 44 billion pounds by 2022, because include improper early cost modeling and unexpected complications like poor ground conditions. With chances the total price tag hits 100 billion pounds, many suggest the extensive time, resources, and environmental impacts no longer balance. Yet the UK government maintains the project remains strategically vital to to level up the economy, redistribute opportunity to struggling regions, and meet sustainability commitments. Supporters argue HS2 construction itself creates jobs and supply chain benefits. Projected economic gains could still outweigh expenses over time. Since construction commenced in 2017, leaders underline contracts signed and progress underway means ceasing the initiative risks even higher sunk costs. But detractors highlight how greater investment in regional transport schemes could better help those places instead. As controversy rages, HS2 continues burrowing tunnels and viaducts across the landscape, forging an irreversible path of development and reshaping regions in its wake regardless. The trains may one day come, but unease around aspects of HS2's development track seems unlikely to fade. As East Africa rapidly urbanizes sand-sufficient infrastructure, an expansive railway renaissance unfolds to uplift regional fortunes, mostly thanks to China. While colonial powers pioneered Africa's original rail foundations, decades of disrepair left networks sorely lagging behind modern demands. But mega projects like Kenya's new $3.8 billion standard gauge railway signal hope to reverse the inertia. Unveiled in 2017 after three years of Chinese contractors 
characters navigating rugged terrain with bridges and cuttings, the line has halved Nairobi-Mombasa trip durations and enabled consistent new freight capacities. It also anchors visions of a pan-African railway crossing the continent from coast to coast, yet concerns shadow-promising mobility gains. Chinese state banks finance up to 90% of recent railway ventures under individual bilateral agreements, burdening countries with formidable debts. Operational inefficiencies and lower demands than expected already prevent lines from turning profits to offset loans. If defaults spiral, African sovereignty hangs in the balance as China possesses leverage to seize strategic assets. However, localized skill transfer and accessible transport still stimulate localized growth. Beyond economics, conservation groups also protest encroachments, threatening vulnerable savanna animals near the new tracks. Though designers attempted wildlife mitigations, lingering doubts persist around rail modernization's compatibility with environmental and financial stability. As locomotives chart new courses through the continent, some ask whether China exports development at the cost of dependency or if expanding tracks spur African progress on African terms. In the Arabian Desert, an engineering marvel is emerging to link the Middle East like never before. The 2,117 kilometers Etihad Railway, backed by $11 billion, aims to connect the United Arab Emirates' key ports and cities by freight rail, undertaken by the Gulf Cooperation Council with an estimated $250 billion total budget. The venture intends to diversify regional economies and forge closer ties. However, realizing the vision has proved enormously challenging challenging. The first stage through dunes and mountains was completed in 2016, but the timeline for overall project completion remains unclear. With China and South Korea now aiding the construction of the latest links, the railway could enable 50 million tons of annual freight capacity and slash transport emissions substantially. Yet, in a society centered around cars, convincing travelers to use the railway presents another hurdle. Whether the mega project can fulfill economic promises and shift mindsets remains to be seen. Around the world, railway mega projects dare to dream big in scope, speed, and long-term impact. But reality often proves more challenging than futuristic visions. Nonetheless, from rising bridges to plunging tunnels, these ventures continue laying tracks that will run through history. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe also.